So next up, race 14, the World Series Hurdle, a three-mile grade one event. Nice big field here at 20. Wait for the runners to come up. Albano Saints of James Shea, Crusader King for Paul O'Neill, Fred for Davy Robertson, Falkal Press for Joshua Sutton, Hadage for Vinnie Gerard, King Cirrus for Alex Cherry, Legalize for Paul O'Neill, Monte Casino for Paul Fisk, Oriental Investment for Thomas Rogers, Original Sunny for Pontypool Racing, Western Junction for Darren Thompson, the Young Marie Implication for Craig Allen, Beach Dale Lola for James Shea, Car Mark. Carl Ma cool Martel, Lily for David Rose, and Esther Tide Jubilati for Craig Allen, Honey Honey for Pontypool Racing, Lateral Thinking for Leon Van Rensburg, along with Night and Day, Shady Reflection for Ryan Costello, and The White Witch for Joshua Sutherland. Twenty of them. They'll all try and beat uh, Night and Day, looking for his fourth win on the bounce. They're running. And we'll wait for him to settle down over this three miles. They'll only have twelve flights to take. Plenty of racing on the flat. We all get over the first. It's King Cirrus that's got bounding off into the lead for Alex Cherry. He's over towards the route. And it is King Cirrus. And the remainder of the field, a fair few still going quite wide here. Although punches down is quite a wide course other than a couple of bends. But it is King Cirrus that still leads us from the white which has moved into second on his own. They're followed through by Original Sunny, the one closest to us, and the Clutterbuck Silks, and the outside of that is Honey Honey, famous Abba song. Pushing through there in the blue silks, the yellow camp is lateral thinking, up against the fence is Shady Reflection. Wider still is Beached Owl, Lola, and Albino Saints. And the second of the Pan Rensburg horses, Night and Date, the favourite. And they're followed through by Crusader King, Western Junction, Full Court Press. Fred's there, I can't see Fred. Oriental investments, a fair few that are out of the shot at the moment, but up front it's still King Cirrus as we get to the third, then we'll skip over it. So it's still King Cirrus from the White Witch, Original Sunny and Honey Honey, and they're a length and a half back to Lateral Thinking and Shady Reflection up against the fence. The green Silks out wider, Albano Saints and Beached Owl Lola, then Paul O'Neill's Crusader King and Red Cap Green Sleeves. Josh's full call press up against the fence, then we can see Fred now, night and day, the favourite. Western Junction out what is pushing through. Why does all those Monte Casino? They'll get over the fourth, jump it better. And still can't see Oriental Investment, Esther Tide, Jubilati, Hadaj, Yomari, Implication, Legalize, and Cool Martel Lily. Hopefully they'll get closer order as we get down to the business end. So we're nearly through the first mile, and it's King Cirrus from the White Witch, Honey Honey, and Original Sunny. Reluctant horses here. A few still being held up for a couple of strides. And it's still King Cirrus from Honey Honey and the White Witch. And the original Sunny taking a hold out. Why does Beach Dale Lola as they go over the fifth? Everybody's over it. Grey there. I think that's Esther Tide Jubilati that we can see towards the end. But up front, Honey Honey joins King Cirrus. Length and a half back to the White Witch and Beach Dale Lola widest. And pushing through now is Fred. There'll be no Saints and Original Sunny. Crusader King wider still. Lateral thinking. The leaders, Honey Honey and King Cirrus, neck and neck now. Through halfway. And it's King Cirrus and Honey Honey. Both skip over the six. So we're halfway through the fences. Hurdle, should I say. Still got a mile and a half to travel been quite drawn out here in this event. But it's Honey Honey and King Cirrus by about three or four now to Beach Now Lola. Fred on his inside. The White Witch is still there up against the round and Albano Saints. Paul O'Neill's Crusader King. They all get over that. A couple of sticky jumps towards the rear. But King Cirrus just goes back in front by half a length of a mile and a quarter still to travel from Honey Honey. Fred's moved comfortably into third now on the inside is White Witch. Inside of that is Beachdale Lola being followed through by Albano Saints, then the three of Full Court Press, Crusader King, and Western Junction. And the length back to Esther Tide Jubilati and the Marine Implications. They go to the eighth, which is five from home. And up front is King Cirrus just by a length from Honey Honey. The White Witch now moves alongside. Couple back to Fred. Beachdale Lola and Albano Saints sitting pretty. Full Court Press, original Sunny. Night and day, I can't see. The red hot favourite. It's drifted, uh, he's probably 15 to 20 lengths off the lead. As we come inside the final mile, it's Honey Honey that just noses in front there as they swing right handed with King Cirrus on his inside. The White Witch, Fred, Albano Saints, and Beach Dale Lola, Focal Press, Original Sunny, Western Junction, Oriental Investments. They go over the ninth. 
all over that. With just three flights to take and six and a half furlongs to travel. The White Witch joins Honey Honey and King Cirrus at the front. Their length back to Albano Saints, Fred and Beachdale Lola. And the further length back to Original Sunny. Paul Court Press, Yeomanry Implication, Western Junction, Oriental Investment. Estheride Jubilati trying to make a move as they go over the 10th. They're all over that. The one that's starting to move out wide now is Night and Day, which is towards the rear of the of the leading pack as we're inside the five and it's the white witch that just knows in front of honey honey albano saints on the outside the not fred's not asked for anything moving well is yeomanry implication so with half a mile to travel it's honey honey the white witch albano saints yeomanry implication on the wide outside here comes night and day but it is yeomanry implication that leads now inside the final four is yeomanry implication as white witch starts to give way gets over the ultimate but takes it slowly and allows the white witch to draw alongside with albano saints so it's albano saints the white witch and yeomanry implication Still moving well on the outside is Night and Day, who's come back from nowhere. But it's Albano Saints, the White Witch, and Yeomanry Implication with just two furlongs left to run. Albano Saints, the White Witch, Yeomanry Implication length back to Night and Day. Full court press trying to run on now. Beach Del Lola, Honey Honey doesn't know he's got anything left. Fred needs to throw some wings, but it's a length, a furlong and a half to go. And it's still Yeomanry Implication and the White Witch. These two are neck and neck as Albano Saints starts to drift back. Night and Day and full court press still running on as they go over the last. A great jump there by Yeomanry Implication jumps himself into the lead. There's only half a furlong to run. It's Yeomanry Implication from Night and Day still trying to run on the wide outside full court press. But it is Yeomanry Implication that takes it from Night and Day in second. Full court press was third. So a good win there. Holds off the, the red hot favourite of Night and Day. It's Yeomanry Implication for Craig Allen and Hems takes the Great One World Series hurdle from Night and Day in second. Josh's full court press and the White Witch were third and fourth. Had a good win there for Hems. Fifth was Fred for Davy Robertson. So unlucky there for Leon Van Rensburg. Can't quite get that fourth win in a row. But still a top, top horse.